Let's get the data. Let's see what we can find. Yeah. Spherical flask of fluid, and you look into the center, and in the center see a, uh, a glowing blue-purple light, uh, which could be seen with the unaided eye. One of the mysteries of sonoluminescence is to determine exactly how hot the interior of the bubble gets. And the thought crossed my mind that perhaps inside the collapsing bubble, the interior of the bubble might also get hot enough to cause fusion. Unfortunately, this particular measurement, which uh, is within the capability of modern technology, has not been uh, presented in either the first paper which appeared in Science Magazine or in a follow-up paper. Nothing is too wonderful to be true that it can't be reproduced in another experiment. And this is what distinguishes science from religion. In early October 2004, Seth Putterman and his team went to work. In addition to how carefully it's degassed, that's actually the biggest key. That we First, have. they set up the experiment. That we have to get rid of the dirt, or else it's just going to cavitate everywhere. Um, so we have to make sure we filter it to get rid of it. It's added. And so we have to make sure we filter it extra well. It was treated to remove any excess gas that might prevent the bubbles getting hot. Now what comes across here, I don't understand. That this comes to here and then out somewhere? What to... That goes down to the trap there. Uh -huh. and that's where then we're... came the neutron generator, the vital piece of equipment needed, confident that he could reproduce Rusi Taliakin's vital scientific conditions, Seth Putterman went to work. So if we got uh, the deuterated acetone in the cell? Everything yeah. degassed as well. Uh -huh. So we're cooling down now in order to get to zero yeah. degrees? Yeah, right. we're getting there. Mm -hmm. We're at um, 7.5 degrees. Yeah. And Brian put the source in? Yeah, put the yeah. source in. Okay. Ready to roll. Let's get the data. Let's see what we can find. Yeah.